a human on ice. You're out there running the circle and put down that can of warm sauce and that big fat old lady you're working at that young for you to eat dinner. This is Bobby that brain here. I'm in your head and I'm online at dot com. So get with it or I'll move in next door to you. You won't like it because you like your wife. I guess you would like it. All right, and we are back, and now we are joined by the former co-host of the Bobby the Brain Heenan Show. He is also the manager of the Bushwhackers. He's, he's a legend in the wrestling business. People have been looking for him for years, and we finally tracked him down. We have Jameson on the line. Hi, everybody. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Oh, man. We'll, we'll, we'll keep the number on the down low. So how you doing? How you doing, James? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm uh, I'm beside myself that uh, people want to know what's going on with me. I'm just uh, I'm so excited. Mm Mhm. No, you have you have been uh, out of the spotlight for like 18 years. Uh, What's it like to find out? You know, all these people have been looking for you. Well, I got a lot of people looking for me, believe me, but um, but it's good that good people are looking for me. I, I, I'm so happy. Um, a big, 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 big wrestling fan found me not too long ago. I was working at the uh, a driving range, a golf driving range, picking up the ball. Uh-huh. And uh, he said, oh, you look so familiar. And we put two or two together. And, and now I'm, I'm getting phone calls all the time. Did you ever get hit by any of the balls when you're out there? Just on Wednesdays, they do a, a target practice. Mm-hmm. Um, but usually I just go out there late at night when nobody's hitting the ball. I just pick them up yeah. and put them in my bucket. Mm-hmm. No, this is going to be next Saturday, May 21st, or is it this Saturday? No, no, that's, a, that's weeks away. Jameson, I'm not. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. May 21st, New England Fan Fest two, and it's in Rhode Island. We just talked all about it with Joe. Now you're get, You still have the, the same clothes. Um. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I. Yes. Now have they been washed? The uh, you know in over the over the eighteen last eighteen years. Oh, all the time. Of course. What? The, you're not gonna stop me. Is it Bobby Heenan? We have talked to Bobby Heenan in the past. Uh, what What was Bobby Heenan like? Uh, you know, to to be on on the show with. Oh, uh, he he was a real dick. <laughs> <laughs> really, he didn't he treat him too so well. Mean, he was so mean to me. I was trying to up his ratings, and uh, oh, he was he was a he was so mean to me. He wouldn't even come to my wedding, and uh, uh, it's terrible. He was bad. He was a bad guy to me. Man. And he was so friendly to everybody. Mm-hmm. He just didn't, he didn't like me. I don't know why. Did he ever? I'm gonna... Go on. Go ahead. No, no, go. You go. I'll say you say he's mean to you. Did... What were some of the worst things he did to you? You ever hear of a wedgie? Yes. Well, that was a, that was a good day. <laughs> Then was it just Bobby, or did he have some of the, you know, the Heenan family uh, do this stuff to you? Yeah, and people I've never met before, I didn't even know them. They would be nice to me, and then they would all of a sudden smack me. Man. Did he, did, they were so bad. Were you ever like an older brother? Yeah, I have an older brother. He's nine years older. He's nine years old, and he's older than you? Yes, yes. How old are you? Uh, I'm 35. Well, then you're older than him if he's only nine. <laughs> what the yes, Um, yeah, do you, do you remember the Rosati sisters? Oh, yeah. Rosati sisters. Yeah, come on, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. Were, big, they were a big part of primetime wrestling and TNT. And oh, they were, you know? they, they were so big. They were so big. Uh-huh. Well, one of them, you know the one they always sat in the middle? Oh, yeah. I had, a, I had a crush on her, and Bobby one time set me up on a blind date with her. Mm-hmm. 
and I was so excited to have, I met her, and the other one showed up. Oh, man. And, I was, and, and that was not even the worst thing he ever did for me. Did he ever, did you ever That's do funny. anything to hedge in tears, or? For what? Uh, were you ever in tears? Any of these uh, these mean jokes you'd be playing on you? Yeah, I, I cried all the time over that guy. And you want to know something? Vince McMahon liked me. And I could not believe that Vince was so powerful that he couldn't get Bobby off my back. And and I wound up, um, I had a nervous breakdown over Bobby, and that's that's why I suddenly stopped appearing. Yeah. So uh, how long did, are you over this, or do you still uh, you like are you still like scarred by all, all the stuff that Heenan did to you? Um, no, most of the scars went away. I got two left on my forehead, and they, they should be gone another couple of years, especially yeah. if I keep losing hair. Um, when will you see me now? You, you guys won't even recognize me. I got contact lenses. Oh, you, so you, you don't have the glasses anymore. No, you're not even going to recognize me. Yeah. How are they going to know you when, when they're there? Are you going to have, like, a sign? or? You know, I didn't even think about that. Hmm. Just if you're wandering that, around the, uh, mm-hmm. the building. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to have to, uh, well... I still wear the glasses, even though I got contacts. Uh-huh. So I, I think you'll know that. Uh, my hair is shorter. Um, I'm a, and I'm shorter. Um, sure. But I think I, I, got to be, I look the same. Mm-hmm. No, so uh, some other people are going to be there too, not, not just yourself. Now, uh, Sonny's there, and I know she came in uh, a little bit after you, but uh, uh, are you, you okay did? around some of the women, uh, Sonny? Sonny, Sonny, yesterday my life was filled with joy, oh Sonny, yeah. excuse me, one time, <laughs> I love that song, um, yeah, I know who Sonny is, mm-hmm. well, are you going to be all right around her, you know, uh, you all right around the women, you kind of a ladies man, yeah, I'm married now, oh, okay, so, yeah, I don't mess around like I used to. You know, I was, uh, all, all my wild oats have been sowed. I, I, I'm married, and she's just a, a, a wonderful woman. You, you know what she looks like? Do you, you know Pamela Anderson? Yeah, yeah. Her father. Her father. <laughs> oh, really? You're, you're a lucky man, James. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. No, back in the day, did Jameson get a lot of, you know, what they call the the ring rats? You know, before you were married, of course. Um, one second, my, my Chinese food is here. Hold on one second. All right. Jameson's got uh, the Chinese yeah. food. He's probably got some beef teriyaki. Come fried rice. Leave it there. Uh, did Mr. Leave it there. The general so get out of here. Some... Get out of here. Do chicken. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder if Mr. Yeah, Fuji delivered it. I think he's yeah. running the Chinese yeah, delivery yeah. guy off. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I got, I got it. I got it. Okay. So ask me that question again. I was saying back in the day, before you met the lovely uh, wife, uh, I guess she has a mustache, but before you met her, like, uh, was Jameson getting a lot of uh, what they call the ring rats? Um... Yeah, but I was not, um, I'm heterosexual, you know. I mean, there's been a lot of controversy over that, but uh, my ring rats were boys. Oh, really? They were yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. that, yeah uh, they, but I was so not that way. And, mm-hmm. I, you know, that's another thing Bobby did. He would always spread rumors about me. That, that, that. Yeah. Oh, where do I get him, man? So, so um, this fan fest thing, I, I got invited to it. Did you hear about this? I did. I heard all. This is this is amazing. Eighteen years go by, 
you're out there, you know, on, on the golf course, and this guy comes up to you, and he he wants you on the show, and you 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 accepted the invitation. What why uh, why after all this time did, did you decide to to go to this one? Well, he sent me rubber gloves, and um, you know, usually I get asked to clean bathroom. They don't give me nothing, mm-hmm. and he told me come to fan fest. I got your gloves. Here's your gloves, and uh, it's good. It's good money. It's good money when you used to go out and pick up golf balls. Uh-huh. But I just got an, I got another job. I work for the New York City Transit now. Oh, really? What are you doing it's there? A good job. I'm in, I'm in sanitation. I'm, I got to suck the farts out of its seats. Really? Oh, goodness. How, how does one go go about doing that? Um, well, you know, I'm a good, I got, I got pretty good lung power. I quit smoking. And uh, they give you the hoses and the, the face mask, and, and it's, um, it's not bad money. So it's not with, like, like a vacuum. You have to you actually use your, your lung power. Yes, uh, yes, and, and I, I started losing a lot of weight doing it, and uh, but, uh, as soon as I got my appetite back, excuse me, I just want to bite this egg roll one second. All right. Oh, mm. oh. oh man. Love Chinese food. Mm-hmm. So are you guys going to be a fan test? I will be. I, I myself, uh, I'm in New England here. I'm in uh, Massachusetts on Cape Cod. Entrance a little further away. He's in West Virginia. Oh, the way oh my God. Wow. And you can't make it. It's a, what is it, an eight-hour drive? <laughs> I think it's a little bit longer than that, I'd imagine. Uh-huh. You can't. That's those, that's the mountains you got there. Mm-hmm. You got to drive over them and stuff, you know, so. But I would love to and come and meet that. a guy who sucks parts out of seats. That'd be awesome. Get my picture with him. Tito, is Tito Santana really going to be there? Tito, yeah, Tito Santana will be there along with Rick Martel, so the tight team partner. Hmm. Really? You know those guys owe me money? Really? How much do they owe you? Oh, hey, with interest, I got to be sixty, seventy dollars by now. Oh, man. man, you're gonna be making out. You're gonna be making out like a bandit at this place. Yeah, yeah. Tito still, like, still looks like a big dude, though. I don't know if you'd want to, you know, collect on him. Oh, you got to see me lately. I've been going to the gym. Okay. The, oh, man. The 18, you weren't the looking so years, bad when the bar, to... berserker was throwing you off the building. Yeah, I know. Well, he, that was when I was little. <laughs> now, you haven't been doing any of the you know, the, the, the funny stuff there to, to get the big muscles. No, 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 no. No. Oh, my God, no. Is it mine with hemorrhoids? <laughs> yeah, pretty close to that. Those I, those I got. Oh, okay. Um, but you know the guy that I have a personal trainer, mm-hmm. and he uh, he's been working on my um, a steps. Mm-hmm. They're almost big enough to be biceps. Oh man, you're gonna be challenging one inch biceps here in no time. <laughs> I'm a Do you know how many guys I challenged to fight? Really, I I would I was at one point Bobby was pissing me off so much I I you know I I gave him a list of names of mm-hmm. WWF or WWE sorry mm-hmm. people that I would fight just to show him I wasn't scared mm-hmm. and um, but he said that men can't fight women so mm-hmm. I uh, I had to go to the gym for a while and then. Next thing I know, it's 18 years later, and uh, and I'm huge. I'm huge. So, is there anybody at the, at this year's fan fest? You know, you got some old grudges. Now you're all bulked up. Mm-hmm. You're uh, juiced up. Anybody gonna try to get some get even with? Yeah, man. I am gonna crack Howard Finkel's head. Oh man. <laughs> if... I'm gonna split that baldy head. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Right in two. You must be in some shape to be taking on Finkel. Man, he, you know, he would, he would, whenever he asked my name, he spit in my face. He would draw that ass way, way out there. 
I, I have a bone to pick with uh, Finkel myself. Years ago on I'll Think the Fink, I got the trivia question right. I mentioned this many times on the show. And uh, I was supposed to get a Hulk, Hulk Still Rules t-shirt, and I never got it. I think the, you know, the, the Fink, uh, he dripped me. I think he's mad because I knew his trivia. Oh, I'm, now I got double the reason to split that ball he had open. Yeah. <laughs> Good little tag team here. Now the, now the Iron Sheik's going to be there. Now, you know, I don't know if you've seen like recent uh, interviews with him where he's talking about you know humbling people. And uh, are you going to be uh, you know afraid of the uh, being around the Iron Sheik? I got no. I, well, first of all, um, we we uh, well, I have no no uh, vendettas against him. I never you know he never did anything bad to me, but. You gotta watch his step in front of me. Mm -hmm. You got a problem with him? I will take him on. Uh, years ago, we had him on, and uh, he, he did not uh, enjoy the interview. It lasted one question, and uh, he—I believe he, he threatened to break my back, and he hung up on us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a bit—he's yeah—he's a bit rough around the edges, uh -huh. and a little too religious for my taste. Mm -hmm. You're not a religious yeah. man? Not at all. All right. We got a few people here online that are calling in. They want to talk to Jameson. Uh, first up, we got Jason on the line. Where are you calling in from? Hey, I'm calling in from Tampa. All right. Jason from Tampa, for you. Wants a, well, you got a question for Jameson? Yeah, I was just wondering if um, when your whole, with your whole run with the Bushwhackers, and Beverly Brothers with the genius, if they tried to rib you, tried to break you into the business in any way, if you have any funny stories with that? Um, it wasn't so much fun that it used to, you know, at the hotel they would continue beating me. Um, and the Bushwhackers were never allowed to help me then. You know, when the cameras were rolling and the lights were on, the bushwhackers were always there to help me. And then we would get back to the hotel after after an event, and the genius somehow always had a key to my room, and he would let them in, and they'd beat the crap out of me. The genius, it's been, it's been uh, documented that he could do, like, several uh, tricks. He's very limber. Do you have any, uh, do you ever see any of this? Um, not under the robes, I never did. All right, all right. There's a lot of people have told stories about it. It's, it's uh, interesting stuff. Uh, he's a popular item on the rumor mill. Mm-hmm. Anything yeah, else? Mm-hmm. You've heard the yeah, stories, he, I'm sure, Jameson. Oh, I heard them all. And some of them, he shocked even me. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Jason, thank you for calling in. Oh, thank you. Now, did the Bushwhackers, uh, did, were they ever like in your face? Um, they, uh, they were paid to, but they, they, they did it as little as possible. <laughs> so, you know, again, they were great to me when the cameras were rolling. And, uh, you know, they avoided me at all, at all, at all times. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Uh, William's on the line. Hey, what's going on? How you doing, William? Where are you going yeah. at? How you doing? What's your question for Jameson? Uh, what's the highlight of your career? Um, wow. I, mm, I would love to think about that a while. I got so many. Um, there was the... Uh, Oh, and it was the nurse when when uh, the berserker threw me off the roof. I had a private nurse, Vince paid for her, uh -huh. and she was she was pretty special. Um, that was that was uh, um, one second. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, that was uh, yeah that I, that probably wins. And and back and. Uh, Macho Man's bachelor party. I, I got to meet the the stripper. You guys remember bachelor, uh, 
Macho Man's Bachelor Party. I don't remember that one, actually. <laughs> Get your hands on that tape, brother. Um, <laughs> that, yeah, he, uh, it was, oh my God, we had a stripper there. And that was another big highlight of my career. But I, I would say, uh, probably the nurse, if you, if you look up that episode, uh, that just got me to, uh, you know, a private duty nurse. Hmm. Well, did she do anything special for you, Jameson? Say it again. Did she do anything uh, special you for really you? You really gotta ask that, Jack. Well, you know, I want to know. You know, I want the details here, inch man. She did so many special things that um, she was probably for that three-week period the highest paid employee of the WWE. Man. Man. Did she did she keep you nice and clean? Clean, smiling, full belly, mm. everything. Yeah. Did I mention smile? Did I mention smiling? Oh yeah. What? Well, whatever happened yeah, to this nurse? Do you keep uh, contact with her? I didn't. Um, uh, although I hear you could, she's got a website now. Mm -hmm. um, but I did. You know she. She was obviously a higher hand. She, uh, actually, both hands. Um, she uh, was, uh, you know, did a lot of know from me after the, uh, I guess, a contract. Expired. Once I was healed, she was gone. Mm -hmm. But that was a bad time for me. I, 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 uh, I, I, I was hurt pretty bad by those, by that fat ass. You can say anything you want here, Jameson. You, we're not going to, uh, we're not going to scold you. Really? Mm hmm Okay, I'm going to keep that in mind. Yeah. Does mo does mommy Jameson get mad if you use, uh, you know, you know, bad language? Does she? Uh, your your mom. Oh my mom. You know, not really, not really. See, the the reason is. I'm an orphan. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bring it to bad times, I was, uh, Yeah. Yeah. You just... You just play on my whole fucking night. Oh, oh man. Look at what you so did. You huh? got the man crying now. Uh, I don't know. I'm, so, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Dreamus. Will you forgive me? You know what? That, that's it. That felt really good. Yelling out the F word like that. Uh, oh, man. Oh, we opened up a whole new door for Jameson. Holy cow. I'm going to be a. Uh, I'm going to like the show business. I think so. Now, you mentioned McMahon that Pretty, liked you and he got you this nurse. Uh, yeah, what What was he? Uh, what was Vince like, like behind the scenes? A real gentleman. A real, a real gentleman. A lot of class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. I like most of his employees. Yeah. You know who is a gentleman? Mean Gene Oakland. Oh, Mean, who will be on the show shortly. Mean Gene Oakland. He was a he was a good friend to me. Mm hmm. What well, uh, yeah. you you and Mean Gene out in the town? What 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 would what would happen? Say it again. Like, when, if, if Mean Gene would take Jameson out on the town, what would like a typical night be like? I would say a strip joint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a bit of a pig. <laughs> I can see Gene in a strip joint now. Mm-hmm. Because... Yeah, he, uh, he was fond of, uh, nudity. Mm-hmm. I, I, I kind of like that, too, myself. Now, early when you got the Chinese food, did that bring back any, uh, memories of Mr. Fuji? One second. Oh, man. He's... I think he's... A, he's sick now. Oh. Uh, I got Mughal guy pad all over my shoes. Oh, no. I hope you can get him washed before the fat uh, fest. Yeah, I... I, I kill, call my kids in to clean. Yeah. 
sure that, I'm sure they'll help you yeah. out. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I wasn't fond of that guy either. Mm-hmm. I don't think you'd want to eat any Mugu guy pan cooked by uh, Mr. Fuji. I heard some, uh, you know, stories uh, when he would. Oh, make he would make special wonton for you. Yeah, yeah. he was a he was a pig. <laughs> <laughs> he will not be at the uh, at the fan fest. You don't have to worry about uh, dealing with him anymore. Yeah, taking care. Yeah, of him. I heard it. There's not no, no bad guys really coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all the good guys. All the good guys from uh, you know, Brutus and Barber Beefcake. He ever give you a haircut? No, no, no. No, well, maybe. No, maybe I, you, know, you, want it? you know, I never met him. Really? For some reason, they kept me away from him. Huh. But I tell you, I still got a bone to pick with that million dollar man. Ted DiBiase, what, what, did, what did Ted do to you? My God, what did Ted do to me? If it wasn't for, you know what? We wouldn't be talking right now if it wasn't for Andre the Giant, mm-hmm. who, who saved me from that asshole. Oh, man. Um, he was jealous because I think at the time, Sensational Sherry had a bit of a crush on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She had, she had pretty nice, uh, you know, uh, boobs there, huh? Sherry. They called her yeah, the problem was she had, mm-hmm. she had three of them. Really? That was not a, Holy yeah. shit, that's some, that's some total recall stuff there. Yeah, that was a bad, I mean, that was not pretty when she got out of costume, let me tell you. Um, where, where was the third one located? Right in the middle. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it was like on her back or something. She's like the man with the Ooh. golden gun or something. Uh-huh. Crazy. Now, I, we got to bring this up because this has been rumors all over the internet. I don't know if you're aware of this, James, if you heard about this, but people are saying that there's this comedian, Andy Andy Kindler, that he he's really Jameson. What do you have? What do you have to say about that? I don't know. I I, uh, I, I don't know. I, uh, I I I know Andy, mm-hmm. and he never. He never took responsibility. It was just, uh, you know, the, the WWE rumor mill, how things get started. He, he's, uh, he's a very nice guy. He's been able to contact me um, through his agent, and they said that please don't, uh, don't think we uh, are portraying Andy to be Jameson. Um uh, we're actually we're disgusted by the character, and uh, don't want any responsibility, any connection to him. So please stop telling people that Jameson is Andy Kindler. Hey. Hmm. Why is he so offended by this? Do you take offense that he's offended that people think he's you? Hmm. That's a deep question. Ooh, I, didn't, I never thought of that. Well, let me write that down. No, we're trying to get you know, into Jameson said tonight. <laughs> no, Jameson, I mean, um, Andy, uh, from all uh, outward appearances, seems to be a nice guy, but that, he did take a shot at me, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, if you think about oh, it, you know, on the surface, he's trying to say he's not you, but if you think about it, if he's really getting offended by it, it's kind of a knock on you. Yeah. You know, I should have known they were up to the... When his agent was holding me down with his foot on my neck, mm-hmm. I should have known right down in there that they were not fans. Mm-hmm. He's no carrot top anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about the guy. Have you ever seen him on uh, Comedy Central? Yeah, he's actually a pretty funny guy. He's not bad. Mm-hmm. I like the guy. But no, but but uh, but I can. Let me be the first to tell you that Andy Kindler is not Jameson. Mm-hmm. Now, you sure this isn't, isn't like a, uh, a fight club type of thing where maybe you black out and, and don't realize it? No, I, I can't imagine that. Okay. <laughs> you don't have any uh, missed times or you know, mm-hmm. anything like that where you don't know where you've been? Any- Hold on one second. I got to itch. One second. I got to uh, scratch. Okay. 
Oh. Be oh. careful there. That was a pain. Oh, I gotta, I gotta cut my nails. Oh man. Um, so ask me that question again. That 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 bitch was so distracting. Go ahead. I for, kind of forget. Oh, oh, the Fight Club thing. You know, in Fight Club, he didn't realize. You know, he was he was both the characters because, but then he realized he started blacking out and he was missing times. Do, do you have any, any times like that where you're just uh, you don't know what you've been doing for the last you know eight hours or ten hours? Um. Yeah, I thought that was just a lack of brain cell. Uh, me, you know, I don't know who I am. Oh man, no. I'm sorry to bring this stuff up. You guys are killing my night. Let me tell you. No, there's a EC, a lot of ECW guys here at at this fan fest too, Jameson. I know you were around before ECW took off. Uh, now, did you get a chance to see ECW? You know, when it was at its height? Uh, I can't even spell ECW. It is um, awesome. No, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't have television until so, uh, the turn of the century. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I missed most of ECW. Mm-hmm. Do you think you would have been a good fit for ECW? You know, I... I, I I did get a call from, um, uh, what was that other one? Uh, WCW? When everybody, what is it? WCW? Yes, when everybody bolted. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I was in New York, and, and uh, Stanford was very convenient for me. And, uh, I, you know, why must I go clean toilets in Atlanta when I could be there's so many toilets in New York. Mm-hmm. So you're, are you telling us, this is big news here, Inch Man, J- Jameson was going to be one of the original members of the NWO. Oh my is, that what you're, is that what you're telling us? Um, if you pay me, I'll tell you that. Oh, man. <laughs> open up the wallets. I got a few bucks. You know what? I'll play, hey, guys, I'll play along with anything. Yeah, yes. Yes. Oh, man. That would have been huge. So instead of Hogan coming, it would have been Jameson. That would have been some really? big stuff. <laughs> but I didn't start building up Brock until the turn of the century. In fact, it kind of coincided with television for me. Mm-hmm. So when you finally got... Hold on, got... Yeah. Hold on i got to get soy sauce. One second. All right. You get the soy sauce. True. I like the soy sauce. I'll put it on those... Uh... There's a kind of like sweet the and sour chicken. I like to put it on that. Okay, wait. I got, I, yeah. I got it on back. Any All duck right. sauce? Um, no, I didn't order duck this time. Oh, man. How about the hot mustard? Are you a big fan of the hot mustard? Just when I'm having my allergy, it's really good for my sinuses. But um, usually I don't use that. I just like... Um, Google guy can, but I don't like it when it's um, all over my shoes. Look at this. Yeah. Well, if you got clean shoes, yeah. I probably wouldn't hurt it too much. You just scoop it right off. These shoes have been through hell. <laughs> Sorry, I just cracked myself up. Oh. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, you guys mind? Hmm? Can I smoke in here? Yeah. Can I smoke in here? I don't mind. I know Incher doesn't allow smoking in his car, but I'm used to it. I think I can. All right. right One second. I'm I'm writing it up. One second. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love smoking after Chinese food. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, I once I once went to a Chinese girl, Mm -hmm. and I, I... Two hours later, I was again. Oh man! I, I heard they they uh they slanted a different direction, but we won't talk about that. The uh, are, are oh, you smoke? Are you what was that? That's very racist. Are you smoking the wacky tobacco or the, just the cigarettes there, James? Um, no, they're, they're just tobacco. Mm-hmm. Um, I have you ever tried any? I know you know some of the wrestlers uh, back in the days, you know the eighties, the early nineties. They were probably smoking some of the green stuff. Were you ever around any of that? Oh, all the time. I 
couldn't get away from it. Mm -hmm. Did you ever partake? Um, just secondhand smoke. Mm -hmm. Was that a, was was that a good experience? It was, I, not really, because I nobody would hand it to me. Oh man, poor Jameson. Now, there's going to be some other managers here at the Fan Fest. It's uh, May 21st, Providence, Rhode Island, East Providence, Rhode Island. And all the information is right on the website. Now, I don't know if you if you have the internet, Jameson, or computer, but if you type it in your head line.com and you can click right on there, and it'll take you right to the website, all your ticket information. It's kind of like magic. It's pretty interesting. This is Joe. This is Joe. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Um uh, yes, I heard all that. I heard all that. I, I know. I heard Paul Barra might be there. Who's that? Paul Barra? Yeah, that's who I was going to bring up. Paul Bear. We've, had the, we've had Paul Bear on the show three times, one of our favorite guests on the show. He's going to be there. Now, when you were managing the Bushwhackers, were there any managers that you tried to emulate? Uh, Billy Martin. Um, uh, uh, no, I can't say that. Yeah, Miss Elizabeth. Mm. Mm -hmm. You were trying to be the next Miss Elizabeth. I was even better in Breston. Have you ever have you ever uh, worn a dress? No. All right. Well, you know, it's first time for everything. It's not too late. Uh, maybe I would consider a formal gown. Mm -hmm. I like to dress up as I got a suit on. Yeah, because they, they are having a Hall of Fame at this convention, too. So, you know, you, you want to wear it. You have to bring some formal clothes, too. I got a new suit. Never been worn. Oh, excellent. Hmm. Excellent. And, uh, and brand new sweat socks to throw my nose in. Man. <laughs> Uh, here in the chat room here, we got a lot of chat room in the show, and they're, they're saying that uh, you need to get out the cigarettes and uh, maybe try the e-cigarette. They're telling you, tell Jameson that, uh, that smoking's bad for him. I've been trying to kill myself for 35 years. Oh, you're just not just not good at it? Yeah, if you're trying <laughs> to kill yourself, I, I, you probably should go with like a, for everybody out there who is trying to commit suicide, you should probably go for a quicker uh, route than like, you know, long-term smoking. I've thought about other ways, but they're so dangerous. That's true. You don't want to hurt yourself if you're going to, you know, end, end your life. I, I'd rather be in a hospital and uh, oh, if I get that nurse back, holy crap. I don't know what she'd be looking like these days, though. You might want to switch up on a younger one. my <laughs> Playboy Don Douglas, who's actually uh, he's a he's a manager himself on, on the independent scene. He wants to know if you have any uh, if you have any advice for an aspiring manager. Yes, make sure that the wrestlers you in you. What was that? Make sure that the the wrestlers that you manage mm -hmm. are younger than you. Oh, okay. You don't. You, you don't. You don't think you should manage older people? No. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, the Bush Black has just celebrated their eighth birthday. Yeah. And it, I knew that was a quick thing for me to be out of the business. Was uh, they just uh, they had tough time So they just got too old. So that, that's how. That's how, That's what happened. That's how you left the business. The bushwhackers got too old. Well, and they just had to get out of there. That and I, I, uh, I don't. I'm not a good flyer. Hmm. Like on airplanes, or like a yeah, super, like you, Superman. Yeah, me and airplanes don't get along at all. Hmm. Are you afraid of so, flying, uh, or what? What's going on there? Yes. Oh, okay. Bringing up some bad memories for Jameson tonight. You guys are killing me. No, uh, just uh, real quick too. I want to know why was there never a Jameson action figure? Um, boy, if I knew that. <laughs> Excuse me, what's <laughs> oh. 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I, you know, that's another. Let me. I gotta write that one down too. I got so many questions for Vince. Man. If you if you got Vince's number, maybe we could call him up here right on they the show. Have the classic one come out. The James. Yeah, the classic Jameson, or maybe like mm. a six pack. No, I think actually maybe like a Bobby Heenan uh, place it. Bobby Heenan show place it. You could have Jameson Heenan and the Rosati sisters. I think that'd be a big seller. I would have bought it. Yeah, definitely. No, Jameson, we're gonna be letting you go here pretty soon. Uh, there's some other people I just want to ask you about real quick, and there's a uh, Grilla Monsoon. And we see the guy who stood up for you. You know, he, him, and Bobby Heenan had a, had a lot of. Uh, they were always going back and forth. Was he a guy who uh, stood up for you? He always, uh, you know, I hear that name, I get a tear in my eye. He was, he, he, uh, he was, he was a real gentleman. He really, he always stood up for me. Mm-hmm. And Axel, and Axel stood up for me. And, uh, if I, if I waxed his boots, uh, uh, Hulk Hogan would stand up for me. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Did, did Duggan ever let yeah. you hold his two by four? Um, not as memory serves me. Mm-hmm. Never, no, no. Man. Well, maybe some. No. Nope. Yeah. Uh, Chief J. Strongbow's also going to be here. Long time WWF employee. Was he around when you were there? <laughs> not as a wrestler. Mm-hmm. But he was not as a wrestler. Sense. He would just load everybody's peace pipe. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he like did he stay in a teepee in the back or Open what's going on there yeah um once Vince gave him a suite he didn't need the teepee uh huh he was really good at that mm-hmm. did, you, did you ever uh, did you ever inhale the, the peace pipe he told you already. He didn't do oh, that stuff. Oh, well, it's a little. Uh, I thought it was a little different. Uh, what's going on? Here? No, I just, I just try to suck in whatever everybody was blowing out because nobody would have me nothing. Oh, I, I think, I think that's a little. Oh, you meant the smoke. I see. I see. I thought, well, I thought oh, we were going uh, down another uh, territory here. I don't like the sudden turn of direction this interview is taking. <laughs> there's a dark. There's, <laughs> Dark days. <laughs> You're no Bobby Heenan, Jack. Oh man. <laughs> oh, well, I've heard. I've heard rumors. You know, everyone's heard these rumors about things. You know, it, 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 it's so funny. I I never knew anybody thought that till after I left, and it was. <laughs> Excuse me, one second. I'm throwing up. One second. <laughs> so everyone just the. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Call me back when the radio show's over. I got great stories. All right. All right. Definitely. Uh, well, maybe we can have a Jameson behind the scenes uh, part two at some point. Holy F word. There would be a, a, a contract out on my life. <laughs> <laughs> We've been wanting to do uh, a dirt warrant, which would be our version of the shoot interview tapes where we actually. We we present the the wrestler with a warrant to get the dirt. Maybe we could do this with Jameson. I'm sure he's got a lot of dirt for us. I'm tired of ducking people. Uh huh. Jameson, if there was one thing you want to tell everybody out there, they're listening to this interview, they're enjoying it, they're getting all this behind the scenes dirt on all the wrestlers, wrestling business, and your life in WWF and, and beyond. And they were saying, why should I go to the New England Fan Fest? To what would you tell them? I would think I'm going to be there. Why else? Exactly. It is pretty awesome. I met Howard Finkel at uh, at the casino once. Actually, several times. But but it was different because he wouldn't sign anything then. But if you can see me at the at Fan Fest too, he's going to be signing stuff for you. He? So, I, it, that man is a... There's going to be... You know, there's St. John, St. James, St. There's going to be a St. Howard someday. Mm-hmm. I'm down. St. Howard. Yeah. He, he is a very saintly man. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was really sad when they replaced him with, with, the, with that girl. <laughs> Lillian Garcia? Yeah. Girls are kind of icky. Well, 
Yeah. Yeah, our breasts were a little bigger than his, though. And I, you know, it's business, guys. It's business. Mm. She didn't have that nice voice, though. Yeah, but she's come on the show, Jack. I know, that's true. <laughs> she's giving us an interview. Howard Finkel's ducking us. He's not giving us anything. So. <laughs> He's ducked us. You've got to be right. You, gotta, you guys got to be careful. I could just be the law in, in my job. Uh-huh. You guys can't. you got to be nice to everybody. Yeah, we're nice to everybody. I mean, I, well, we've been nice to you, haven't we, Jameson? Now, after the show, you're not going to be telling people that, you know, don't don't be talking to these in your head, guys. They're, they're mean. You're not going to be saying that, are you? I love you guys. Oh man! You, 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 you relaunching my career. I gotta call my agent tomorrow. Oh man! Well, maybe we could set something up. You know, maybe, maybe we could. Uh, you, maybe we could be your agent. Hmm. Hey, um, you know, if you, if you know any wrestlers mm-hmm. that do stand up comedy now, uh, a lot, that's kind uh, of the hip yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I uh, I got some connections. How do you get in touch with me? All right, if you're serious, I I know actually we know several of them that that do that now. Yeah, man, we'll do a big WWE comedy show. That would be pretty good. Mm-hmm. I know uh, King Kong Bundy does it, and uh, Mick Foley. he's a real good guy with us. Mick Foley does it. Yeah, so some of the younger guys like Colt Cabana, Roddy Piper, Roddy Piper's doing it. Yeah, a lot of the guys, uh, Johnny V. Uh-uh. Yeah, I got, I got an entree into a great, great entertainment room in the Big Apple. So, mm-hmm. anybody out there that uh, be, be reconnected, that's uh, doing, uh, trying their hand at stand up, you got to get in touch with Jameson. And you bastards spelled my name wrong on your freaking website. <laughs> I looked it up and uh, <laughs> I think it was injured. He makes a band. Here. I'm dyslexic. What the hell? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'll take credit. I actually make all the banners. The so I looked it up and uh, I thought it was with an E, but every every place I see has it with an I. No, he's talking about the J. It's a G. No, it's a, it's I'm a just G? kidding. Oh. Um, no, no. No, it's a fucking movie, okay? <laughs> oh, my oh. God. I'm so sorry. Besides that, though, it was a pretty nice banner, wasn't it? Go on, compliment his banner. He'll cry like, if you don't. I was like it when the guests tell me they like the banner. <laughs> I like seeing stuff uh, with my picture on it, except in the post office. Uh-huh. You wanted, I, I get you, I get you. Stay away from this man. All right, Jameson. You, when, when you move into a new city, you don't have to, like, uh, you don't have to, like, register, uh, <laughs> register or anything. All right. When, when one of you is talking, the other guy can't laugh because I can't hear nothing. What are you saying? Oh, I'm sorry, so, we're sorry about that. We're bad about that because uh, we're our biggest fans <laughs> and we laugh at our own jokes. But I I'm get that. Yeah, if if you were moving in, if you're moving into a new city, let's say you're moving next to Inch or you're going to be his new neighbor, do you have to register at the new town you're moving into? Holy cow, maybe it's my cell phone. Are right, you guys are breaking up. Try that question one more time. All right, I'll just say, if you move into a new city, you're moving into town, you're moving next to the Inch Man, you're moving next to me, do you have to register in that new town? There's a really well, good question. I, I, I'm gonna pre- I'm gonna pretend that I still can't hear you. But I heard you. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Jameson, when you go to a new town, do you gotta <laughs> register? Oh my god. No, you know I, I heard I, you. I, I, <laughs> I don't have to. I don't have to. Uh, <laughs> I will change. Mary, mm-hmm. Mary, Mary. Uh, another box of weed. Thank oh, you. Another vodka. Have you tried the cotton candy vodka? That's pretty good stuff. Where are you calling from? I mean, where am I calling to? <laughs> I'm in Massachusetts. And and that's where this uh, in your head is? It's actually all over the world right now. Mm-hmm. People are hearing your portrait. I know, but where's your studio? Where are you, where are you sitting right now in Massachusetts? What town? Uh, I'm on Cape Cod. 
sandwich. Okay. All right. I got family. Really? You know where Cape Cod is? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like a little arm. You actually did cut up there. Are you a Red Sox fan? Oh, yeah, big Red Sox fan, Patriots fan, of course. Celtics. I'm going to forget we ever talked. <laughs> oh man, J- Jameson starting heel on us. I will change that to an E for you. If I if I change that banner to an E, will, will you let the let, let any of the uh, the off color comments uh, we said on the on the show? We let those uh, in the past. I let them slide. Uh, I'm all about the E, baby. All right. Just like WWF, they got the F out, they got the E in. I'm gonna get the I out, and we'll, we'll get the E in that banner. All right, but there's still an F at the WWE. Let me tell you. Oh yeah. <laughs> You got, you got any uh, quick stories for there about any Fs in the WWE? Um, probably not good enough. Not, probably not for the year. Mm-hmm. But you call you call me back. I got a couple of beauties. All right, excellent. Well, James, I really do appreciate you coming on here. It's been a lot of fun. We've uh we've got to know uh you know some of the backstory in Jameson, so some of your uh, inner demons. Uh, hopefully we've uh, helped you. I don't know, but everyone should. Not go. much, guys. Not much. Not much. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting here to puke on my shoes. Um, I just smoked nine cigarettes and my 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 effing glass is empty. Yeah. Hmm. I think that's a that's well, a typical it's reaction. Been great. I, I, I hope we can meet, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my phone number off the air. I'm gonna tell you what I really think of you. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming on, James. It's been it's been our pleasure for sure, and I do think that's a typical reaction of uh, of most really? fans when they listen to us. Uh, they end up with puke on their shoes. Tell everybody to come to uh, Fan Fest mean- there, and. Uh, and I'll tell them some of the private stories. All right. So if you go to New England Fan Fest 2, Saturday, May 21st, East Providence, Rhode Island, all the information's right there on our website. It's a nepwhof.weebly.com. Kind of crazy website. But you click on that. If you can't spell that, just click right on it. It'll bring you there like magic. Really good prices. You can get the super tickets, like 90 bucks, and you get to see everything. Or you can uh, you get like the day pass for only ten bucks, and you can go in there and uh, meet who you want to meet, get your autograph who you want to get an autograph from, and go up to James and tell him you heard him on your head, and he'll give you a, a special uh, behind the scenes story. It'll be good times. I should give him special Google right there. Oh, right for my shoes. Oh man, are you a good cook, Jameson? Um, uh, seven out of ten. Oh, that's not too bad. What's your specialty? Uh, broccoli and pasta. All right, that sounds pretty uh, delicious. All right, Jameson, it's been good talking to you. You too. Thanks, guys. Hello, everybody. This is Tito Santana, and you're listening to In Your Head Online dot com. Arriba!